Welcome back to the intro pack series. Let's get to cracking. Bam. Get those out of the way because today we're doing a black green vicious cycle. As always, I have to read this in a stupid voice. On Zendikar, even death is no obstacle. The Eldrazi and the Plains. <laughs> I gotta be able to talk. And the Plains defenders fight, fall, and raise to fight again. Yeah, it's four color rally. Let's do this. Or it's like two color rally. Two color Eldrazi rally. If this is your first intro pack, I'm sorry for goofing off, but we got plenty of other intro pack videos. We always get a 60 card pre made deck. You can look in the description below if you want a better detailed list of all the cards that come with it. Two packs of the newest set, which finally we got Jace again, but that's our first Chandra pack. I wonder what that'll mean for us. We get a uh, deck list card. Never open one of these up. You guys really don't even care. This is where everybody skips for like, I don't know, five, ten seconds past. Oh, it's Nissa. Oh, it's Pack. I right, talked about how to boost your deck. And there's all the list of cards and all that, how to play it. In case you don't know how to play, we get a rules reference card. Let's crack straight into this intro deck. So we can look over the cards together and take a look at the sweet alternate art. Premium Dread Defiler. For six uncolored and a black, we get a 6-8 Eldrazi creature with Devoid. For three uncolored and one colorless, exile a creature card from your graveyard and target opponent loses life equal to that exiled creature's card's power. That can actually be pretty good in some other decks. Rare, we get a Battle for Zendikar Rare. What a joke. Smothering Abomination. Here comes all the Battle for Zendikar stuff. Some Blister Pods. Carrier Thralls. Loom Larva. We've been over this in the other cards. Two mana for a 1-3. Gets us some land on the top of our library. Rot Shamblers. Battle for Zendikar. Stalking Drones. Two mana. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it can pump itself only once each turn. Decent. Essence Depleters. Two uncolored and a black for a 2-3 Devoid. For one uncolored and a colorless, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Could be really, really solid in the draft if you got the uh, the vampire people to go with it. Vorsus Null, Battle for Zendikar. Netcaster Spider, first time we've seen this. Two uncolored and a green for a 2-3 with reach. When it blocks a creature with flying, it gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. So basically it's a 4-3 if it blocks a flyer. Pretty decent. The Null Caller, three uncolored and a black for a 2-4. For three uncolored and a black, we can exile target creature card and get a 2-2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield tapped. Broodhunter Worm, Battle for Zendikar, Seed Guardian, four mana, two uncolored, double green, we get a 3-4 reach. Whenever it dies, put an XX green elemental creature token on the battlefield, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Uh, that can be good. It'd be pretty good in Rally, wouldn't it? I think so. Coslix Pathfinder, six mana for a 5-5. Five, five. For one, for one colorless, target creature can't block the defiler or the Pathfinder this turn. That's pretty good. Some Brood Monitors. Battle with Null. I kind of talked bad on this guy previously in one of my other videos, but I think he actually is going to be a solid card for limited. Four uncolored, black and a green. Six mana, we get a four five. Enters the battlefield, return two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Blighted Woodland. Battle for Zendikar. Battle for Zendikar. Vertile Thicket. Battle for Zendikar. Wow, lots of lands this time. Hey, we get a couple wastes in here. We finally got another artwork on the wastes there. It's pretty cool. Now, notice these aren't full art wastes. These are half art wastes. This is the only place you can get. So these might, okay, I know they look kind of trashy, but these might be worth something as far as lands go. Because to my knowledge, this will be the only place you can get half art wastes. So you might want to keep that in mind. Maybe this intro pack could be worth some money just because of that. I know it sounds stupid, but you never know. Bone Splinters, we've been over that. It's Battle for Zendikar. Vines of the Recluse, one green. Target creature gets plus one, plus two, and gains reach until end of turn, and you can untap it. Kind of a need of ability. I don't think it's going to be that good. Alters Reap, Battle for Zendikar. Course Churn, one uncolored, and a green, or a green, and a black. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Card draw and get some stuff in the graveyard. Not too bad, I guess. Grasp of Darkness is double black. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Um, so it's like a single target languish. No, I don't think it's going to be that great. Could be really good in draft, or not draft, but um, sealed. Natural Connections, Battle for Zendikar. Pulse of Mercy, two uncolored and a green. Return target creature card or land card from a graveyard to its owner's hand, and you gain six life. Oblivion Strike, three uncolored and a black. Exile target creature, pretty good removal. And that's why there's two of them. And that is this deck. 
But more importantly, let's go into the packs and see if we can get some cards to make this deck even better. Or if it was even really worth it. We're going to wait till the end for Chandra. I'm feeling good about Chandra. We're going to be skipping over the commons today and going straight into the uncommons and rare. Um, yeah. We just got to the point where we're starting to see quite a few of these. We'll have booster box opening if you really, really want to kind of look at those. Allied Reinforcements, Token Generator, I'll take it. Balith Null, we just went over him. Wall of Resurgence, we haven't talked about this card yet. If you get this card in pre-release, definitely play it. Three mana, two uncolored, and a white. You get a 0-6 Defender. But when it enters the battlefield, you can put three plus one plus one counters on a target land you control and becomes an elemental creature with haste. So for three mana, we're getting a 3-3 three, three Haster and a 0-6 Wall. Ridiculously good. A rare in the pack is an Eldrazi Obligator. Uh, two uncolored and a red for a 3-1 Devoid. Whenever you cast it, you can pay one uncolored and one colorless. So basically it'd be, it'd be uh, five mana. If you do gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap that creature, it gains haste until the end of the turn. And then this has haste as well. Pretty solid in a mountain and a token. Uh, I know it gets redundant if you watch these videos in a row, but for the people that don't, if you do hit that subscribe or like button right now, it's right down here and it helps out way more than you'll ever know. It keeps content like this going all the time. So we can uh, get the booster boxes, the intro packs, fat packs, everything. So please do that and leave me a comment. I love to talk to people. Grasp of Darkness, we've already went over. Balith Null, man, look at this pack. Bonds of Mortality is an interesting uncommon. One uncolored and a green. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. For a green, we can activate it any time. Creatures your opponents control lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Maybe a sideboard card later. I don't think it'd be good during the draft, obviously, or uh, or um, the pre-release. And our rare in this pack is going to be Fall of the Titans. I feel like this card's really good. I think this will definitely see play. Really activate, easy to activate the Surge on it. Its main cost is X, X, and red. Its Surge cost is X and red. But Fall of the Titans deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. Now, keep in mind, if you're playing two-headed giant at the pre-release, you can target both players. And do, I mean, gosh, if you pump this thing for, let's say, six, you could do 12 points of damage right there. It's just a ridiculous card. Either way, great removal. It can get rid of creatures, multiple creatures, creature and player. Very solid card. We'll definitely see play. And a great way to end today's episode. And, uh, yeah, get ready to watch the next one because it's coming.